Hello YouTube. Uh, just thought I'd put a quick video out. Uh, Joe got some decent light sparring in uh, yesterday, which was real nice. Uh, the big guy, boy, he's a big guy. He's six four and a half and weighs two hundred and thirty pounds. Is a big boy, and uh, uh, that guy's got MMA experience. So we had a little bit of a I don't know, minor situation. Uh, I didn't even get a video of this. When you hear me uh, on one of the sparring videos, I've hit the button and then I say, God, I didn't even get any of that. Uh, what happened was Joe went dead on the guy because I was showing Joe it doesn't make any difference how big the guy is. You can back them up. And uh, Joe backed the guy up and they went around and the guy came around and when he came up, Joe got an angle on him and the guy came around and elbowed Joe right in the jaw. So uh, Joe kept going. It didn't hurt him that bad. It hurt him worse later on in the evening last night and this morning, but he seems to be totally fine now. But it jarred him a little bit, and that's to be expected. It's what sparring is, and I think it was the MMA and the big guy coming out, and he, boy, he just swung right around and gave him that elbow, so we went through that. But uh, real happy with Joe. He knows he can really back guys up, you know, that the size is not the issue on, with that, and I hope. All you young guys start realizing that we typically, I do, I like, uh, I know Joe's opponents are going to be taller and bigger. Uh, well, not necessarily bigger, but in weight, but they're going to be taller. So uh, Joe did real good. So I was real happy with him because we haven't really been sparring much at all. And uh, since February, uh, or since March, uh, mid or late March, I think. So it's been a while since Joe had been sparring. And, of course, with Diego, the smaller guy that you see him with, he, I mean, he can't, he can't unload. Uh, but he unloaded enough that uh, on the big guy that he, he knows he can back a big guy up you know, easily now. It's more beneficial, he's starting to see that it's more beneficial to have someone taller than he is uh, for his style. So we got a boatload, we got a million and one things to work on. Uh, we've, we've got a boatload more to do than what we've already done. So still got a lot, a lot of learning and a lot of practice and just a lot of things to do but he's doing great and i'm very proud of him uh still you know making straight a's across the board he had several quizzes uh this week and it's thursday when you see this video it's thursday in a week and uh he's had four or five quizzes a few quizzes and uh hundreds across the board as usual so everything's going good on this end and uh, what did you just put a number? How many quizzes did you have this week? I uh, had seven. He had seven quizzes this week. So aced all of them. Great deal. Good going, Joe. Excellent as usual. So we're still creeping along, moving forward. Poco a poco, step by step by step. Not forcing anything, not rushing anything. Uh, we got plenty of time here. Uh, what I'm molding can't be rushed, or what I'm what I'm in the hopes to mold can't be rushed. So uh, we're doing our own thing at our own pace and our own ways. And uh, if you see something that's different, uh, any suggestions, let us know because we we're all ears around, eyes and ears around here. Uh, 
So uh, a lot of things we need to work on. We need to work on a lot more defensive skills. Uh, we need to work on everything. So but he's just 14, so give us a break, fellas. Uh, but please do let us know if you see something we need to improve on. As long as you're not ugly about it, we will say thank you very much and much love to you for it. So, uh, another thing I wanted to mention right quick, and this came up because our friend Danny Christie, and he is the uh, light heavyweight bare knuckles champion of the United Kingdom. And we just love him to death. And uh, he's been really gracious with us. Much love to him. Uh, he had brought up in a video the other day, and you can find his channel at The Real Danny Christie on YouTube. And uh, uh, he had brought up I, the, the big thing you hear I, I fear God, but I fear no man. I fear no man. And he's correct on that. There couldn't be nothing further from the truth. Uh, I just wanted to give an example of that because I'm glad he brought that up. My uncle was a master or expert uh, airborne jumper in the United States Army. He obtained the rank of full bird colonel. Uh, his first jumps were in World War II, uh, so he was in combat and jumping in World War II, in combat and jumping in Korea, and in combat and jumping in the Vietnam War. Uh, I want to give you young boxers just a little interesting story that he told me when I was a little boy. He I spent a lot of time with him after my dad died. And uh, he was telling me a story that uh, he had went up and was fixing to jump. And you know, they got the cords up there and the line that goes across. And the guy helps them out. There'll be a sergeant usually up front. And he'll help you right on now, irrespective of your rank, because they have to keep those lines moving. And hence, you see the guys jumping out one, two, three, four, and they just keep coming. Uh, there are many reasons for that I won't go into, but uh, they have to hightail it out of that plane quickly. Well, my uncle was up one day, and they were doing an afternoon jump, and uh, he unclicked his thing and just sat there, and the guys went by him and went on out. Now, by this time, he was a lieutenant colonel, and uh, the sergeant, you know, everybody got out, planes going on. Uh, the sergeant walked up to him and asked him, said, begging the colonel's pardon, but you feeling okay today, sir? And my uncle told him, said, son, I'm feeling fine, uh, and asked the problem. I'm feeling so good I'm not scared. So therefore, I'm never going to jump out of a plane again. And he did. He didn't jump out of a plane again. And as a little kid, when he was telling me that, it didn't, it didn't sink in immediately. And he had to explain it to me. And he did. He said, son, when you lose your, when, when, you, when you're doing something that's dangerous, uh, when, when you lose the fear factor in it, uh, you, you need to quit doing whatever it is because, and he explained to me, I will not check my chute properly. I will not go down my checklist properly, things to do. And not only might I get killed, I may, I may kill another guy. So it's time for me to get on out of there. Fear protects you, son, is what he told me. And fear does protect you. I've never got in a ring, in a street fight, in pretty much of anything uh, that I wasn't scared. I do believe there are some guys that were, didn't get scared or were never scared 
maybe I don't believe there were guys that were never scared, but I do believe that were, there were some guys that normally didn't get scared. And those guys, I would say, are crazy. Something ain't right upstairs with these guys. And uh, typically, uh, these are the guys that will go in the ring and get the crap beat out of them. Uh, the one out of 2,000 boxers, bare knuckle guys, MMA guys, whatever, uh, the one out of all of them will be the guy that gets nailed, gets caught, and done just like that. Uh, fear is what protects you, and you need it. Uh, you need to feed. You need to feed yourself off of that fear, and it will help you. You got to flip the script on that. You got to flip the script on, with the fear, and use it to your advantage. So, I just wanted to give that little story because uh, I knew these things as a young child. Uh, being told this from my uncle, the Colonel, at such a very young age, but. And you see kids walking around here or adults, I fear no man. Uh, you, you be careful with your boasting there because even if you haven't feared no man, uh, you may tomorrow, you may an hour, you may 10 minutes from now, you may come up on somebody that, uh, and we've all got these men, ain't none of us, even Mike Tyson, who, who, uh, said he was scared every time he fought, by the way, but even the toughest of the tough guys, uh, they get scared. So, young guys, you hear these guys saying, oh, I was never scared. Fear will kill you dead. No, fear will keep you alive, and fear will help you win. That's what fear does. So, uh, fear is a, a fighter's friend as long as he can bottle it and feed himself off of it in a proper way. Uh, I can't really tell anybody how to do that, uh, but you can you can learn this on your own and use it to your benefit. So I just wanted to give my two cents on that. So uh, and yes, Joe was scared when he got in there with the big big man, and he should have been, and uh, that was normal. But he overcame it as soon as he let the let a couple of one twos go, move forward, and the guy back up. He was like, "All right, uh, I got to be careful, but uh, I can handle this." And he used that fear, uh, although it wasn't a uh, wasn't a real fight, and although uh, the sparring was not very hard. Uh, that guy was trying to take his head off. And if you look back at the sparring videos, you will see that guy was cocking his right and he was letting that damn thing go as hard as he could. He's, he was, he was uh, going to knock the living crap out of Joe. Uh, so, and Joe knew it. You know, the first right that come at him full force, he was like, man, this guy's not playing with me. And uh, it's good that that guy did this with, with him. And the guy did nothing wrong, and I thanked him for that. Uh, so, but it, uh, it, it, it works, and then you feed off of it. You, it feeds you. So, uh, I don't know no other way to put that. Uh, there's people that are way more eloquent in, in speech and, uh, and, and, communicating thoughts they can do a good job at that I'm sure but I, I just simply don't know how to really portray it to you young guys in any other way so uh, I just wanted to talk about uh, kind of expand on what Danny Christie was talking about and if you go to the real Danny Christie.com you're gonna see a tough guy there you, you, you're going to see somebody that will plant you in a second. And uh, all you got to do is go look. He's got videos winning the championship. Uh, this is a tough, strong man right here. And uh, so look, and it's bare knuckle. So you young boxers, when you, you hear somebody like that telling you, 
if they're feeling this way, the rest of the gang's feeling the same way. You, you might have the one in 2,000, the one in 5,000 that's a complete nutcase, but they won't make it long, not in the combat sport field. Uh, they won't make it long. And they don't make it long out here in the street either if they fist fighting or knife fighting or things of, uh, of that such. So uh, fear is a good protector for you. So uh, don't buy into uh, this thing that, oh, I shouldn't be have fear. No, you, you need it. You need to feed off of it. It's a good protector for you. It will help you win. So much love to everybody. And remember, uh, if you get a knock on the door of your heart, uh, make sure it's the real Jesus Christ. And when you know it is and you'll be able to figure it out, let him in because you're in, you're in store for uh, a lot better of a life. I'm not a perfect life, you know, and you'll have more trials. You'll still go through the tribulations that you go through, but you, you can get a piece to, that will build and develop on itself and a character that will build and develop on itself uh, or upon itself that will help you through life, get you through things. So, uh, and not to mention everlasting eternity in life and uh, and goodness. So, uh, just wanted to say that. So, blessings to everyone, and we will check you later.